when is a tough job, but someone has to do it. Florida law enforcement agencies are trying to convince officers from around the country to work here in the Sunshine State. A virtual job fair is being held tomorrow where agencies hope to attract some new recruits. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is live at the Tampa Police Department with more. Evan. Well, the problem isn't necessarily finding applicants. It's finding applicants who are qualified. And Florida law enforcement are making a pitch to law enforcement officers serving around the country to come serve here. Deputy Ashley Baker's first day on the job. I don't think anything compares to Florida, so. The six-year officer from North Carolina loved it there. But since she's originally from Sarasota, she wanted to be closer to home. Under the state's Be a Florida Hero program, the HCSO new recruit will be eligible for a $5,000 bonus as a new officer, another thousand for relocating, and even $25,000 towards a first home. My husband and I packed up our kids and relocated and started all over here. The attorney general highlighted Baker's story to plug a virtual job fair for officers around the country. She hopes they'll be enticed also by a political environment where leaders routinely say they back the blue. We want this to be about those answering a call to serve in a way that is bigger than themselves. But it's not always easy to find them. The police chief at Tampa International Airport's department says they used to get 30 applicants for each opening. Now it's two or three. Do you know why they may qualify to be a police officer? It's just, just not high enough quality for us. Hillsborough deputies currently have 66 openings, but get only 134 applications per month, about two for each. The Hernando uh, Sheriff says they studied 2,000 uh, applications there is a reason. and found 95% don't meet the basic qualifications. It's for the people working the street, too. You want to have somebody next to you that you know is going to do the right thing and they're going to have that bravery and that empathy. The state says over the last year, 530 officers moved from other states. Um, One of those is Nicole Hagenoff. The Long Islander worked for NYPD like for six years degrees, but got tired of cold winters. Like 20... A friend recommended moving down to Hillsborough County. Seeing palm trees every day in the sunshine and even just the people I've come in contact with have just been so nice and friendly. And the recruitment woes here at TPD are not quite as tight. Uh, they just recently had 234 applicants. 167 of those 234 were considered to be qualified for the positions that they had open. That was 20 positions, so 10 for each. Haley. A lot of applications to go through, but not a bad problem to have at all. And uh, we're certainly well, happy to welcome them here to Florida. Evan, thank you.